Well, hey everybody, Sam Billhorn here with Whitetail Partners. And the intent of this video is to walk you through a uh, typical on-site design and consultation uh, and also explain to you the habitat plans and deliverables that I'll give uh, with a typical visit. So with that said, uh, typically the whole process starts by reaching out and contacting me. Uh, it's best to do this by phone. Everyone's situation is so unique. Uh, location, size of the property, their experience with it, the number of years they've been there, um, as well as the level of, uh, you know, how far in depth uh, they may want to go uh, with the design process. So uh, consultation calls are always free. I'm happy to help you and explain to you what's needed uh, and quote your work uh, that is unique to your property. Uh, that said, once we connect, uh, if it's the on-site option, uh, we'll schedule a time that works well uh, that we can meet and get together. And uh, that works best uh, starting off right away in the morning, getting to know each other, uh, having a sit down, whether that be in breakfast or maybe it's at a table or at a, at a, uh, in your workshop or cabin. Uh, all those situations are different. Uh, but getting to know you uh, and what you're interested in accomplishing uh, in, in the, on the land and with the property. Everyone's resources, time, experience, uh, hunting ability, and special circumstances are, are all different. And it's important to know that a design I put together uh, for a piece of land uh, may be different for a different client. It's, it's going to be uh, considering your individual interests and abilities that you bring to the table that you uh, we want to design something that you're going to be able to do you're going to be able to build uh, you're going to be interested in and that's going to work for you and how you want to use the land uh, you may have unique interests that you want to have other recreational uh, needs on the land met or your own income needs met through timber or agricultural rent uh, uh, field rent or, or otherwise so all those different things that we get to know uh, how you want to use the land and, and that way I, I'm going to have the perspective and the tools in my toolbox to know um, what you're going to be looking for in the plan and produce something that uh, is going to be a fit for you. So once we've accomplished that and uh, had you know kind of a, a framework for how we're going to approach the day, uh, the next step is going out and uh, looking at the land. and uh, this can be as in-depth or as basic as, as you want it to be. Some people, it's uh, taking a cruise around um, in a UTV or ATV, and other people, it's uh, walking a grid through the whole thing. Either way, if um, you're unable to or, or don't have the time to, I'll, I'll take the time I need afterward to go walk pieces that we may have missed. But it really works best if we can go together and walk the land in a way that allows us to see you know, each and every uh, area and, and get a, uh, enough coverage that we have an understanding of it. That's where that difference is uh, versus a virtual consult or um, just a brief overview is, is really getting to see it, studying that land, scouting it, finding the existing bedding areas, the places that we have potential for food plots, the uh, various signs throughout the uh, property, travel corridors, existing scrapes, um, and uh, all the different things we look for uh, throughout a property to have an understanding of how it's being utilized at this time. Um, also your current hunting setups, uh, if you have any, where, where those are at, and, and again perspective on uh, the current means of hunting the property. Uh, and then along the way too, just have a really great time of discussing habitat, discussing habitat improvement and the different uh, ways to approach uh, these projects. Go into as, as much or as little depth as you may be interested in, in talking through those. So we will uh, cover the, uh, I will cover the land in full extent with you as much as you're able. Uh, don't want to rush that process. I want that to be uh, detailed and uh, make sure that I leave with uh, an understanding of what that property looks like. Uh, after that, um, just kind of have a recap time. Maybe we'll do some drone footage for future uh, um, reference as well as including that in the report. 
and uh, just answer any questions you may have. I, I don't want to leave that time. I mean, it, it is a time of information gathering for me and learning about the property, learning about you and how you're going to approach it. But it's also a time I want to make sure I answer all of your questions. So we'll talk about what we observed, initial design concepts, um, as well as, you know, if I've, I'm going to look ahead uh, prior to the visit and have it, having done some basic uh, design ideas uh, and see if those work or if they don't work. And we'll talk about that. But basically, I, at that point, want to make sure I've answered all your questions. And then I go back um, and uh, regroup uh, in my home office here and, and work through all of those details. Um, that's a time where I sit down and pour over my notes, uh, the various mapping programs that I use, Onyx, Google Earth, and, and other uh, various county websites and things like that, and uh, work on developing the best plan I can put together, something that is the most visual, most representative, and something that you're going to understand. And, and with that, I'll pause here and pivot to uh, the report and start to talk about the deliverables that I'm going to prepare. Well, here I am in a, uh, the table of contents for my reports, and um, the first half of the section is completely customized, unique to your property. Uh, the second half is a lot of resources that I've been compiling. And um, so let's talk about the first half and what I do first, and I've been pivoting more and more. These used to be very long written narratives, I'm pivoting more and more to video content, just like I'm giving you now. Uh, which I walk you through the property, uh, be it through that drone footage, satellite imagery, uh, Google Earth, talking about uh, the pluses and minuses of your property and then the habitat plan as well. So first of all, the property assessment, uh, the strengths and weaknesses. So I'll have a video link right there in the PDF uh, that I'll give to you. That'll link you directly to a private video uh, where I talk over all of my checklists, the various things, and there's pages here of of things that I, I look at on a property um, and, and give you a full understanding of what the existing condition is and really what, uh, what's, what we have to work with. Next we get into the habitat uh, plan video narratives and the plan itself and I'll scroll down to that and talk about how I present that format. So here I have the report video and video narratives. Basically what this is is uh, describing all of the details of that habitat design, um, breaking down every single element. So I have a complete playlist, or I'll have strengths and weaknesses. Uh, that's the uh, video link I talked about before, but then the habitat plan here, which is um, breaking down the property. So I will give some, uh, this is an, uh, a typical design uh, that I did. I'll give some uh, images of that within the report uh, for your reference and break that down into pieces that are uh, more easily uh, viewed um, so that you can have basically a hard copy for the field and, and have the ability to look at that. But I'll also give this to you within a, a free Google Earth file which you can open, uh, use in the field as well, um, and, and have this electronically. So with that, uh, within those narrative links, I will go through and I will describe every feature. You know, I'll talk about this corridor, this stand, this mock scrape, this bedding area, um, uh, these other stands, the food plots, the kill plots, the screening. Every single feature, I will take the time to walk you through what it is, why it's there, why it's positioned where it's at, and uh, give a, a overall understanding of how all these pieces fit together. Sometimes these narratives that I give can be 30, 40, 50 minutes, uh, over an hour for a large property, describing each and every detail, uh, just like the video I'm bringing to you right now. So when I provide to you this uh, narrative, it's gonna be just like this, where I'm in the plan within Google Earth, I'm moving around, I'm zooming in, I'm talking about the different features uh, and, and describing everything in detail. I'm going to talk about each stand location. I'm going to say where you access it, um, what time you should go there, the, the t part of the season that stand is most uh, designed for and would be most successful. Each one of these files that I give, and here's a typical breakdown, is you know having reference lines, property lines, maintenance roads, topography, food plots, bedding, 
regeneration, travel routes, warm season grass and pollinator mix, conifer screening, annual screens, forest improvements, and then of course access and hunting stands. And I could have more files, but I, I generally break it down into that. Um, and you know, any of these plans can have uh, an enormous number of details in them. And that's why this video explanation is the best way that I can communicate to you what's going on and uh, the way I like to present the plan. Again, formerly having uh, pages and pages of narrative, these video formats I'm finding to be a much better way to communicate through the process. Uh, next, I'm gonna to pivot to show the work priorities list, which is the next segment of the report. So in this segment of the report, I break down, depending on where we're at, where we are at in the current year, uh, what's ahead. So in this, uh, this is a report I gave just recently, and it's talking about the, the various roles uh, as well as um, the timing of the various activities moving forward. So prioritizing the things that can get done between now and hunting season uh, to go through every feature, um, or, you know, to get as much of the work done as possible. In this case, this was a pretty in-depth, in full design. The owner's gonna have me do walkthroughs and have a layout uh, and also review the work um, that's being done by others. Um, and what the whole intent of this is, is to give um, you know, a breakdown of things that need to be done throughout the year specific to your property in a priority list. So that's that habitat work priorities. Uh, optional items and ideas, these are some creative touches, some unique things that uh, um, I saw in your property that you may wanna consider. Uh, and then follow up and other services. So this is what I talked about. This is the next step. So the different things I can do to help you, whether that's field layout, uh, or just uh, consulting along the way to help you, um, uh, you know, be there for question and answers and, and simple things like that. Uh, that's why I'm here. I don't mind and I, I actually quite enjoy just getting phone calls and answering simple questions and having that continued connection to you uh, as you complete, complete the work. Um, but if there's other services I can provide on your land or otherwise, uh, that's what that's all about. These additional references and other resources I'll rattle through, but I don't want to just uh, uh, downplay them because what this is, this is the growing uh, content that I have that um, gives you a, a leg up on, on next steps. So the um, layout and implementation tips, uh, this is if you're going to uh, jump in and do this plan yourself, uh, some of the things to consider. Habitat uh, plan, legend, and definition of terms. I'll skip to that because I just want to show what these things are. So my definition of terms, every one of those is within the habitat plan, the video narrative overview helps quite a bit to understand the plan and I give the explanation along the way, but there's details within each color, each line, each shading, uh, uh, every little piece and detail that's within that plan. Like here, for example, timber bedding, my, uh, the orange areas within my plan, that is, um, you know, giving a lot of the detail of the things to consider when you're uh, going to construct something like this and have a better understanding of what that feature is. So I mentioned before the priorities and work list and uh, also what I include is this habitat work calendar, which is the annual by the month textbook of what you're going to do uh, throughout the season. That's the ongoing uh, work that uh, can be involved uh, as you work on your property. So just to finish up a couple more details here, I have uh, fall food plot areas and recommendations. So specific to your property, I'm gonna give uh, ideas and suggestions of what I would put in for uh, your food sources. Um, I'm also gonna give you the background concepts and design. So a lot of the details as to the why of the design are, are explained there and some of the concepts that I believe in. Um, and then finally here, rounding it out, recommended tools and products. So these are all the things I use. Uh, these aren't sponsored items. These are just things that have worked for me, the things I like, and I, I believe that's uh, good information to share along with a pile of pictures. And then finally, this last part, which is uh, habitat pictures from my farm. Uh, same thing, this is uh, uh, piles and piles of pictures of uh, successes and failures uh, within habitat design uh, and, and uh, habitat improvement. Uh, that I think are beneficial to you um, as, as you're starting off within this work. So rounding out this video, all these things are put together, the final report, the 
habitat plan itself. You'll get that both in the PDF and in the Google Earth file. Um, and that is all put together and sent to you um, within a few weeks of my visit. I want to give you then time to review it, uh, to understand it, and to watch those videos and take it in. But then finally, to ensure your understanding, uh, it's a priority to me to circle back. Um, I encourage people to write down their questions, their, the things they want to know, uh, follow up uh, that they might have, and then we'll uh, get together on a virtual meeting just like this. We'll uh, Zoom meeting and uh, we'll share screens, talk over the plan, uh, revisit any uh, concepts that they may want to know more about, and uh, just make sure that I uh, have answered all their questions and ensure their satisfaction. So. Uh, that is the typical design process uh, that I go through for an on-site design. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and gave you a better explanation of, of what it is that I do in that. Uh, I want to thank you for your time and, and watching it. Uh, again, I'm Sam Billhorn with Whitetail Partners, and I want to help you design your property for hunting. Thanks.